for Lasoski leads him down the first straightaway. Big jump for Lasoski as they reach turn one. He's on the bottom of the racetrack. Down low again, Lucas Wolf as well. Wolf up the challenge. Jason Johnson for second. He'll go side by side toward turn three. Good battle for the runner-up spot as they go wheel to wheel and it turns three and four. Now Dale Blaney is well on the move. He'll move to the outside of Sammy Swindell who slides up to block down the first straightaway. Swindell and Blaney coming at him for fourth. Meanwhile, Lucas Wolf takes second from Jason Johnson. Johnson trying to catch back up down the backstretch. Four car battle for fourth shaping up. And now Jason Johnson back to the high side at three and four trying to get back by Lucas Wolf and he does and he closes in on Danny Lasoski. Nearly pushing the dude down the first straightaway. Lasoski goes to the bottom of turn number one, slides up across turn two. Here comes Jason Johnson down the back straightaway. Two car lengths back. Your race for the lead in three and four. Lasoski still on the cushion. Johnson now lagging back just a bit. He'll drive off the cushion down the first straightaway. Four in the books, 21 remain, off turn four, Lasoski brings him to the green. Boy, Jason Johnson got off, off the both side of the speedway and got a little crossed up there. He goes to the cushion in one and two, Lucas Wolf takes a peek to the inside, but that allowed Danny Lasoski to pull away. Johnson's getting the momentum back up on the high side. Joey Saldana to the inside of Sammy Swindell. Saldana takes the first spot and comes for third and three and four. Big move by Saldana as he slides up across turn four. Here they come down the first straightaway. Now Lucas Wolf back by on the inside. He'll bring Swindell in. Now Joey goes to the cushion. Oh, Swindell nearly gets into the back of him. Three wide off a of turn two. Terry McCall on the move now. T to the inside of Joey Saldana. Blaney and Saldana almost get together into turn three. And now Sammy cleats up in front of Blaney now. And they're still three wide down the front straightaway. Cars everywhere. Nearly four wide as they came off a of turn four. They'll go three wide again into turn number two. Now they'll settle down a bit as Sammy Swindell will go to the top side of the racetrack. James McFadden has snuck his way into the mix in turn three. Jason Johnson driving off the top side of turn four into turn one, holding on to the second spot. But now McCall, nice and easy. Look how smooth he gets around the inside of a one and two. He'll get a run down the back straight away, battle for second. Little wiggle by Jason Johnson out of turn number two, and that may be all the T-Mac needed. McCall slides up in front. Johnson turns hard to the left, but Terry McCall takes second at the completion of lap number 13. Now he'll try to set his sights on Danny Lasoski, who is well ahead as they race down the back straight away. 2.3 seconds, the advantage between first and second. Off a turn four, green flag waves. McCarl stayed with him a little bit better that time. Lasoski back to the bottom, McCarl to the cushion. Here comes Terry McCarl on the top. He'll try to make a run down the back straightaway on Lasoski. He's got to run, he'll dive to the inside of turn three. He'll slide job, you've got a new leader. Terry McCarl by Danny Lasoski. McCarl leads lap number 15 and starts to pull away. Now they swap the grooves, McCarl on the bottom. Danny Lasoski on the top, Jason Johnson closing in on him. Brian Brown into the top five from 23rd. He's not done yet. He'll go to the top of turn three and four, making a run on Madsen. Madsen a little loose off the bottom. Here comes Brownie to the outside. Madsen to the block. Now Brian Brown to the inside of turn one. Brian Brown strong on the bottom of the racetrack, stays even with Matson. Now Matson a little bit more momentum down the back straightaway, but Brian Brown, this time he'll follow Matson to the top in three and four as T-Mac starts to check out on the field. Terry McCarl will lead off turn four. McCarl puts the right rear on the cushion, exits turn four and hustles down the front straightaway to a Knoxville Nationals preliminary victory. thank Doug and Austin and everybody on my crew they made some holes we were really horrible in the heat we did, lucky to finish where we did and we just made wholesale changes on the car and wow what a race car ART was rolling around there and Tommy Ryder gives us awesome edges we did the best we could qualifying when we went out and man we missed it by one I, what a race car I could go anywhere I wanted talk about the last restart when you got the dude you passed Lasoski on the bottom <laughs> well, I just knew what he was doing on those restarts that he did to Jason, and uh, he was leaving that top up. But I hadn't been to the top, though, so we had a start. Gave me a chance to practice it, and then I had another restart. I, got, I perfected it a little better, and I think he missed it a little bit. Yeah, we got good points. I guess we just got beat by a good driver and a good car. That's all we can say. You know, we were putting a good pace, and a lot of times, uh, second. <laughs> a lot of times, a lot of, a lot of times, uh, it's it's better to be running second. He did he did what he had to do and did a great job, and we just got beat. All right, second place goes to Dan Lasoski. Yeah, you know, I told the guys when we started the the day, main that if I could see the dude when the checkered flag flies, I'd be pretty happy. So, uh, you know, he's really good here around Knoxville. And, you know, I had one crack at him there, you know, trying to get a slide job in three and four, and I just didn't, uh, 
I still just haven't mastered it just yet. So, um, you know, Terry, Terry showed me how to do it a few laps later and um, take some notes and come back and try again. Good to see you, mate. See you tomorrow night. Thank you. Jason Johnson, of course. Terry McCall and Danny Lasoski as we send it back upstairs.